The military doctrine paper, Mind War, by NSA General Michael Aquino and Colonel Paul E. Vallely, written in 1980 at the beginning of the Reagan administration, while Vallely and Aquino were working at the Presidio, headquarters of the 7th Psychological Operations Group, quote, there are some purely natural conditions under which minds may become more or less receptive to ideas, and mind war should take full advantage of such phenomenon as atmospheric electromagnetic activity, air ionization, and other natural conditions under which minds may become more or less receptive to ideas, and mind war should take full advantage of such phenomenon as atmospheric electromagnetic activity, air ionization, and extremely low frequency waves. The following footnote to ELF is included. Extremely low frequency waves. ELF waves are up to 100 hertz and are more naturally occurring, but they can also be produced artificially, such as the Navy's Project Sanguine for submarine communication. Extremely low frequency waves are not normally noticed by the unaided senses, yet their resonant effect upon the human body has been connected to both physiological disorders and emotional distortion. Infrasound vibration up to 20 hertz can subliminally influence brain activity to align itself to delta, theta, alpha, or beta waves, inclining an audience toward everything from alertness to passivity. Infrasound could be used tactically, as ELF waves endure for great distances, and it could be used in conjunction with media broadcasts as well.